Hi you guys, my name is Chow and I partner with Min. We are from Harmony School of Science High. For our PBL2 experiment, we have chosen to observe the reactions of sodium silicate and various metal salts, also known as chemical garden. This experiment was first observed by chemist John Rudolph Glauber in 1646. Our materials include spatulas, a stirring rod, a large beaker, and five smaller beakers. We also use sodium silicate solution, also known as water glass. As for our metal crystals, we use aluminum chloride, iron 3 chloride, cobalt chloride, copper chloride, and nickel chloride respectively. First, we pour the sodium silicate solution into a large beaker and added water to make it a 1 to 1 ratio. Then we stirred with the stirring rod. We then pour the solution into 5 smaller beakers evenly. By using the spatulas, we were able to take a small amount of the metal salt and pour into one of the beakers. We then did the same step to the remaining metal salts. In this process, a gel is formed around the salt and serves as the membrane. Through the membrane, water and excess hydroxide ions are extracted through osmotic pressure. The membrane then stretches as the salt continues to dissolve in the solution. In the growth, tubular fibers can grow to several inches high in length. Here are the results. The colorful reactions of a chemical garden are not only captivating, but it is used in research to benefit greatly in our society.